Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you um, some things that I got for my birthday and for Mother's Day. So this is like my birthday slash Mother's Day haul. So some of the things were bought for me and given to me as gifts. Some of these things were I purchased myself. Some are online purchases, some are in-store purchases. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the haul and show you what I got. Okay, first up from my mother-in-law, and just really quick, I just wanted to say I'm using some, um, like, lamps and such for artificial lighting since my light decided to die on me. So if the light looks a little funny, that's why. I know the shadows are probably um, really bad or whatever, but hey, I gotta work with what I got, right? So first up, I'm gonna start with what my mother-in-law gave me. It is this really pretty peach colored top and it has like this um, like see-through fabric on the bottom and it came with a necklace. It's just one of these long necklaces with some beads, some um, gold balls and like this little gold chain and it's super cute. I think this is like such a pretty color for spring and summer so I haven't worn it yet but it's really lightweight which um, I'm excited about because you know here in Florida it gets really really hot. So, so next up um, my sister-in-law uh, Tani she gave me this make so this is by the brand uh, Cameo and it comes with 10 brushes and this really cute silver leopard print makeup bag or I don't know if it's to store these brushes in but it comes with a makeup bag and I thought that this was very sweet. Um, everybody in my family knows how I am about my makeup and so I was really excited to get this brush set because when you are a, a makeup artist or somebody that just loves to play with makeup, you can never have too many brushes. So thanks, Tiny, for this. I really, really like it. I haven't opened it yet because I was waiting to haul. Uh, my husband took me shopping, and this was kind of like a um, birthday slash Mother's Day all-in-one because it kind of fell within like two weeks of each other. So he did take me to Ulta and I was able to pick out a few things. I debated on whether to go high-end or drugstore. Um, as you all know, you can get both at Ulta. And I decided to go with drugstore just because, well, I, it's kind of a mix, but most of it is drugstore just because there were a lot of things that I wanted to try, so I felt like it was the perfect opportunity to grab some things. Um, this actually I got from the flea market, but it's the Chic Hydro Silk uh razors and I got two of these currently one is in the shower got one for sensitive skin and this one here and this comes with the razor and then two refill cartridges 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 so it's a five blade razor and you can never have enough razors so that's that then I got this which I have been wanting to um, purchase this for some time ever since it first came out and it's the NYX um contour and highlight palette so it comes with eight shadows and they are uh, refillable pans so you can pop these out and replace them um, and it has like a little guide on the back so it kind of shows you where to highlight and where to contour but I really really am excited to have this palette I did use it once already and the shadows were quite powdery but I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because I want to do a full a full review and swatches on this palette. But yeah, this is the NYX Highlight and Con I was going to say Contact. Highlight and Contour Pro right, Palette. Now, this is something that I've never seen before in any store, but this is the Rich Black Shampoo. Um, it's a microphone and it adds color instantly, so I'm guessing it's a slight take on uh, like hair dye. And they did have it for blondes, brunettes, redheads, and so on and so forth. But I got the shade black because I have black hair. And I figured my husband can try it as well. So it's just a foam that you put in your hair, leave it in for a couple of minutes, and then wash it out. And it does say that um, it adds color to natural or color-treated hair. It's a dual UV fade protection, smooths and repairs damaged hair, adds shine to man uh adds shine and manageability and it also tones down gray so this is quite pricey although I, I did get it on sale it's normally $30 and I got it for $7.50 so 
I'm excited to try this. I haven't played with this at all yet, so we'll see how this works. If I like it, I'll probably put it in a favorites or something like that. If not, I do plan on doing another products I regret buying type of deal. So make sure you subscribe so you these. don't miss I'm out. almost out of um, the other one that I have, but this is the Ulta Makeup Brush and Sponge Cleaner, and I love this stuff. Um, a little bit goes a long way, even on my face brushes. You know, a couple squirts, and it really cleans very thoroughly and it smells good too. Um, at first the scent can be a little overwhelming. It's got a really strong perfume type of scent to it but it smells really clean a lot and compared to the one I usually get from like Sephora it's a lot smaller. Uh, this is 5.1 fluid ounces so you do get a lot of product in this bottle. Alright now this is something that I've been eye uh, eyeballing for a while at Target. This is the Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex. It's a 10-in-1 renewal system with marula oil and biotin. And that is the main reason that I got it because of the biotin. I figured it would be um, something worth trying to grow my hair and also for Sophie. So this is a shampoo. Age Defy Color Protect Sulfate Free Hydrate Nourish Soften Anti-Stress Manageability Revive Body No Build Up. So on the back it has a whole list of things that, um, that the shampoo is made with, but it's got uh, no sulfates, no parabens, no phthalates, whatever, however you say that, uh, no paraffin, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no synthetic color, no DEA, and it's not tested on animals, which is a huge plus for me. So yeah, um, I'm excited to try this. I really hope that this works because I really, really, really want to like it. And I've been, look for, been looking forward to purchasing this for some time. So um, thanks to my husband for buying this for me. Alright, a couple things left um, from Ulta. And this is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. And as you all know, brow products are like my thing right now. Um, as a matter of fact, I think it's everybody's thing at the moment. I mean, brows have just become like a staple in everybody's makeup routine. So I'm always on the hunt for um, a really nice, um, easygoing, you know, quick type of brow product. So I'm excited to, to see how this works. I'm guessing it's just a clear gel. I don't know, but it's just in a little mascara tube and I'm pretty sure you'll see this in a tutorial or something like that. The next thing, which is the last thing that I got from Ulta, um, this is one of the high voltage lipsticks from NYX and I've been really digging the purple lip lately. I don't know what it is, but I'm just very drawn to um, d various shades of purple for my lips. So this is in the shade, um, what is this, Twisted, and it's a really, really nice, really nice purple shade, so I'm going to swatch it here on the back of my hand. It does have like this bluish pinky undertone, as you can see here. I just think this is so pretty, perfect for spring and summer, and I did use it once, and I really like it. It's very moisturizing and hydrating, so... I think I'm going to go and get some more of these and maybe do a full review, swatches, demo, that sort of thing um, with this line of uh, NYX lipsticks. Okay, and also for my birthday, um, I did make a trip to are just a few weeks uh, from each other. So we did vlog that trip, so I will link it in the description box if you want to check it out. But I only purchased one thing um, this go-round just because I've... I've been a little unhappy with Sephora to say the least, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But I did pick up the Anastasia number no. 12 um, dual ended eyebrow brush. So it has a spoolie on one end and then an angled liner brush on the other end. And if I can get this out, I will show it to you. Ah, no biggie. But anyway, that's what it looks like. I'm pretty sure you've seen this a million times. A lot of people use this and I mean... If you don't know what a spoolie is, open your mascara. That's what it looks like. And then it has an angle brush on the other end. I did get some free samples um, while I was there. Um, obviously, I got my birthday present, which is two um, NARS. What are these? I don't even know. Let's just open it up and see. They're NARS. Uh, what are these things? Velvet matte lip pencils. That's what they are. So it comes with two. 
I'm not quite sure how much product are in these. It doesn't look like there's much in here, but I mean, it's a sample, so, you know, whatever. But the first one I got is a, um, like I said, they're the Velvet Matte Lip Pencils, and they just come in little pencils like this. They're samples, whatever. But this one is in the shade Cruella, and it's a really, really nice, deep, classic red shade i think it's gorgeous and i cannot wait to play with this it doesn't look like it twists up or anything i'm not quite sure if you sharpen this i'm not it's a beautiful really beautiful color and then the other one that comes in this box is in the shade now i'm probably gonna butcher the shit out of this but i'm thinking it's rakujian I'm, I'm guessing i don't know but it's a really nice nude um beige nude type of shade right here. Um, definitely that Kylie Jenner trend that's going around, but it's just a really nice shade that's like an everyday, easy to wear color. And I'm excited to wear these. I'm kind of feeling like Heidi. I don't want to wear it too much because it doesn't look like a whole lot of product comes in here. So, you know, I don't want it to be gone after one use. Uh, I did pick up a couple of um, samples of what are these foundations because I'm on the hunt for a high-end full coverage foundation so I did pick up the Tarte Amazonian clay I picked up a sample of that and then I got a sample of the Kat Von D locket foundation so those are the only two um, foundations that I got samples of and then I redeemed some of my points while I was there so I got this Algenist um, Algeronic Acid and Microalgae Oil. This is the Advanced Anti-Aging, it says Ultimate Anti-Aging Melting Cleanser. So it's a phase cleanser, it's biotechnology from San Francisco. So I'm super excited to play with this. I'm using up the one that I have from Lancome at the moment and after I'm done with that, I'm definitely going to put this to use because at my age, I'm really finding that anti-aging products are probably my best bet. I am pushing the last 40. The sample so. that I got is from First Aid Beauty, and these are facial radiance pads. It says exfoliate, tone, and brighten, alcohol-free, safe for sensitive skin, which I feel like in the last couple of months, my skin has become extremely sensitive. It almost seems like every time I wear makeup on my face which is one of the reasons why I have nothing on my skin at the moment so I'm sorry if my blemishes offend you but I, I just can't right now so uh, I don't really know exactly what these are supposed to do I guess I should read it but anyway that's what it is and I'm excited to play with it especially since it's for sensitive skin I do hear a lot of good reviews on first aid beauty products so that is that I'm not sure how well I'm going to get my next gift in frame, but my son brought this huge Bob Marley picture. And as you can see here, it's just a huge Bob Marley picture and it, I haven't even taken it, taking it, I haven't taken it out of the package yet just because um, we are planning on making a move to a new home sometime soon, hopefully in the near future. So I'm kind of saving that uh, for that. but. Yes, yeah, so Solomon, if you're watching, thank you so much. And then I, when I saw this in the mail, and it is, ha, it's a color pop uh, product. It's a palette, and it's the Shanix O um, Super Shock Quad. Uh, it comes with XO Selfie Deluxe and Rebel. So it comes with two mattes and two shimmers. They look like this. I'm not going to open and swatch them because I'm doing a review and swatches and a tutorial using this um, quad palette, whatever you want to call it. They are individual shadows and I've already used them once and I'm, I'm just going to tell you I'm in love and I can't wait to order more. So that is what I got from ColourPop Cosmetics. Okay, last but not least, the last thing I got for, these are all Mother's Day gifts um, from my kids. And if you ask me, I would much receive, much rather receive these type of gifts than any material gift anybody could give me. So, little Miss Sophia made this for me at school. And it's just a Mother's Day card. And, you know, it has her little scribble scrabble letters at the top, which I think is so adorable. She's only four, so imagine how that went. And she made me this little flower. 
and it smells like bubble gum. I don't know. I don't know what they sprayed on it, but it just says 2015 on the handle and it's just a really pretty pink flower. So when we move and I have my own beauty space, this will be displayed somewhere on my desk or on a shelf behind me or something like that because I just think that this is extremely adorable and very sentimental. So that's from Sophie. And then my son Gary, which you don't really see much of because my boys don't really like to have their picture taken. They don't like to be on camera and that sort of thing. They are in my vlogs. and I'm sure you've seen them before if you watch any of my videos. They just prefer not to be. But anyway, um, Gary made this for me at school. And it just says, love you. And it's so pretty. And I just love that my kids um, are artistic and they like... They like to color me pictures because, I mean, come on now. This is something that I will keep forever and ever as long as I can. And then the last thing I got for Mother's Day is another card from Gary. And it looks like this. And he actually drew these flowers and colored them. And it just has a nice little sweet message on the back. So, these are precious. Alright, so that's everything I got for my birthday slash Mother's Day. I hope you all enjoyed this haul. I know it was kind of scattered, but I mean, what can I do? So please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on some of my upcoming videos. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.